What you doing? Oh, I'm just putting a filter on this photo of me and my boyfriend. <laughs> a filter? What year do you think this is? 2016? <laughs> Excuse me? Nah, you gotta edit each section individually. Yeah, you gotta do some exposure. What, what does that even do? Yeah, I hit it with a little brilliance. Oh my god, there's mm -hmm. so many options. Yeah. How do I know which one to choose? Don't worry. I know a girl, okay? She'll help you. Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to edit your photos on iPhone. And I'm not talking about in any specific app that you need to pay for. I'm talking about the features that just come with the phone in your photos app when you click edit. So there's a bunch of features. I won't be going over every single one of them today. I will leave a list in the description box of what I'll be covering and their timestamps as well if you want to specifically skip to one certain feature. I will be also doing a screen recording and showing you exactly how each feature impacts the photo. So let's go ahead and get editing. I'm filming this on my phone right now, so I need to go ahead and switch out to my camera so that I can screen record and show you guys exactly what each feature does to your photos. Okay, so we are here now, and I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this photo of me and my boyfriend. So the first thing that you're gonna do when you pull up a photo, you're gonna click edit on the top right and at the bottom you'll see that there's like a dial with a bunch of dots around it. To the right of that there's like three dots which are the filters that iPhone presets for you. And then the next one is like crop and straighten and all that. We're gonna focus on the dial because that's where there's all these options. To edit your photo so there's a ton of options like I mentioned we're not gonna go through everything there's a list in the description box but the first one I want to talk about is exposure let me tell you exactly what exposure does and show you while I'm explaining it to you okay so on a basic level exposure will lighten or darken your photo and it will do it for every area of your photo whereas some other options will only target certain areas to lighten or darken. Exposure will lighten or darken the entire image. So as you can see, if I overexpose it, you're not gonna be able to really see our features anymore. Everything is extremely bright and blown out. And if we underexpose it, it's really gonna just do the exact opposite. The next one we're gonna go over is brilliance. And I had no idea what this was, so I'm gonna read it so that I can explain it in the best way possible. So, Brilliance applies region-specific adjustments to pull in highlights, to brighten darker areas, to add some more contrast, to reveal hidden details of a photo to make it look more rich and vibrant. And the Brilliance adjustment is color neutral, so it's not gonna make your colors any more red-toned or blue-toned. It's gonna stick with the colors that are already in the photo and just adjust to the details of them just a little bit. So I think a good area to look at for this example is my jacket. So the jacket I'm wearing is corduroy, Sherpa, and faux fur. So there's like a lot of detail going on in the jacket. And if I increase the brilliance, you can kind of see more of the corduroy detail and more of like the texture on the Sherpa. And the same thing with my boyfriend's jacket as well. You can also really see it in the sand and in the water. Since one of the features of Brilliance is to brighten darker areas, there are some like shadowy parts of the water and of the sand that are brightened if you increase the brilliance of the photo. The next feature I wanna talk about is brightness because I never understood how this was different from exposure. And the difference between the two is that where exposure will take already bright and highlighted areas and make them even brighter and more vibrant, brightness is gonna add a lightness just to the entire image as a whole without any region specific adjustments. So let's take a look at that in our example here. So if I increase the brightness, it's just gonna make this overall photo lighter. And I'm gonna go back to exposure and show you the difference really quick. I want you to take a look at my forehead, okay? I already have a big giant forehead and the sun is just illuminating off of it in this photo. So we might as well use that as an example. So I'm gonna increase the exposure and you can look at an already highlighted area of my giant forehead and see what happens when I start to increase the exposure. That light beam, on my seven head just starts to increase, increase until it's the size of my entire head. And when I adjust the brightness, it doesn't do that. It just lightens the entire area equally. 
which I appreciate. <laughs> Saturation, I feel like saturation was a big thing in like 2015, 16, people were like really, really saturating their photos to make them look more like eye-catching because saturation obviously changes the intensity of the colors in your photo. So let's increase the saturation and see what it does to the blues in the background and also the red of my sweater. So this is obviously 100% saturation. My boyfriend and I have both turned Oompa Loompa orange. The water looks very artificial. The sky looks kind of cool, but everything else just looks really kind of like fake. And like I said, very like 2015 Instagram status. That's what this reminds me of. But good news, there is a way to increase the saturation of kind of like landscape areas without making your face look oompa loompa orange. And I did not know about this feature, but it is called Vibrance. And Vibrance increases the intensity of more muted colors, but leaves already well saturated colors alone. So I'm gonna go to Vibrance and show you the difference between these two options. So if I increase the Vibrance because I want the landscape, to look more beautiful. I want the water to look more blue, the sky to look more blue, but I don't wanna be an Oompa Loompa. I'm gonna increase the vibrance. And even if I increase it all the way, our skin tone still remains natural and the background doesn't look so artificial. The colors just look more, you guessed it, vibrant. The next and last one I wanna cover is warmth. Some people might know what this is and just think this is pretty self-explanatory, but when you warm up a photo, it makes it more like red toned, orange toned, kind of like that autumn feel to it. So I'm gonna increase the warmth and show you guys what happens in this photo specifically. So see how we look more like tan because it brings out more of like the red tones, the richness in like the collar of my coat and my burgundy sweater. And it definitely tones down the like blue from the sky and blue from the water because blue is a cool toned color. So if you increase the warmth of an image, the cooler toned colors are going to be dulled down. And then if I wanna go the opposite way and make the photo more cool toned, watch what happens to the sky here. It becomes way more vibrant, way more blue, but then we as humans totally dims us out and makes us legitimately gray. So it just depends on the vibe you're going for of a photo. If you have a landscape with a lot of cool tones, so for example, mountains, a lot of like white and blues and grays, making it less warm toned is gonna make those colors stand out more. But if it's a photo of trees changing in the fall, like those beautiful, rich, warm colors, if you increase the warmth, those colors will stand out more. And as you can see, there are a lot more options that you can use, but those are the ones that I personally use the most. So let's look at the before and after of this beautiful image that we edited together. <laughs> that is it for today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. You don't need to buy Lightroom to edit your photos. You don't need any specific app that you need to buy from the app store. You can get a nice look on your photos through just your phone. So hopefully this helped you today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.